Hello, my name is Noreen Murphy. I'm a community activist with the Right to Water campaign. Um, I was also involved in a very small way with collecting signatures for the Citizens Initiative petition. And I'm founder of a new organisation here in Cork called the Water Democracy Movement Ireland. So I suppose the water issue has actually demonstrated the political contempt for the democratic process here. So policy is meaningless and political promises mean actually nothing. Spin and lies are commonplace and I think this really shines a light on the lack of political integrity. I believe there's a better way. I believe in honesty and integrity. I think it's possible to have that um, in politics. So I'm so sorry I couldn't be with you in Toulouse. I really genuinely love to be there. Um, so one of the conditions of the Irish bailout was that um, a utility company be set up, water charges be introduced and, a, um, and water meters be installed in every home in Ireland. So um, there was initially to be a charge of €350 Euros per home and that was to, going forward, full cost recovery of rate of €900. Euros. So since then we've seen this monster of a utility company uh, it's wasted nearly three billion euros and hasn't fixed anything. Our infrastructure is still in the same state that it was five years ago. So after years of austerity and apathy, um, spontaneously, people all over the country began to block the installation of water meters. Um, I think a kind of a, you know, an innate understanding um, that without a water meter, our, our water services couldn't be privatized. Um, they refused to give people were arrested and um, even here in Cork there was a special there was a special um, police unit set up to monitor and stop water meter protest um, in spite of all this the, um, the the protests blossomed and they they spread right across the country um, Ireland is in a unique position um, where we can see the failed privatisation agenda everywhere else. So we're about 30 years behind behind the rest of Europe in this. This is, this is a new departure here. Um, the sell-off of public assets um, is, is what we're looking at. Um, so the, during that time um, of the water meter protest, the Right to Water campaign formed, um, facilitated by five trade unions, um, and it's acted as an umbrella organisation for ordinary people, the trade union movement and political parties, um, it's facilitated the biggest demonstrations this country has ever seen or is ever likely to see. And the water movement, the overall water movement, has forced the government to backpedal on so many different issues within the uh, agenda. Now, we're in a situation now where we've had this um, joint committee, which is a government committee, that have been looking at the future funding of water services, and it's made some sort of sinister uh, recommendations. So these are just recommendations at the moment. So but, um, an allowance, an allowance, a ration be given to each household. Um, yeah, and, and we know that going forward, those rations will be reduced over time. And um, that the meter stop is to cease, but that meters be installed on apartments and on anything that requires planning permission. So basically, that's the ongoing metering program. So um, in the middle of all this, so we have this, we have this on where we have aims of a win. So we want the metering program. To, we want the utility company Irish Water to be disbanded. We want the registrate the legislation that repealed it, that, that created it to be repealed. We haven't actually won anywhere. So these false claims of these fictitious imaginary wins have caused an awful lot of confusion. Um yeah, and and, and I suppose a lot of anger. Um and there's actually no need for it. So no um we're in a, I suppose we're in a transition period. The movement as a whole is in a transition period. So after the last few years, you've seen this huge politicization of people. You've seen this huge empowerment of people, people coming into their own and saying, yes, I actually can make a difference in my community, in my country. Um, these are the people that, that we need to keep, that we need to keep going. We need to keep 
empowered. Um, so you it, you have all this confusion and manipulation. And we also have new groups forming that are removing water meters. They're taking out the water meters. They know you can't actually, whether you call it a ration, whether you call it a charge, whether you call it a whatever. You can't be charged unless you have a meter. So it's simple as that, take out the meter. Um, now we're on um, with the review of the um, Water Framework Directive. Ireland, um, we have a public consultation period on the Draft River Basin Management Plan. Um, the Right to Water campaign, the overall Right to Water campaign will be making submission. Um, I'm collaborating with some environmental and community groups on making submissions. We have friends of the r 2 r who've made it really, really easy with these online tools for people to have their say. Um, so we're going to continue for the next week just basically finishing off the submissions and encouraging people as much as possible to have their say. <coughs> um, just for me personally, I'll be continuing my activist education program um, and encouraging people to become aware of how important protecting our water and managing our water going forward in a sustainable and democratic way how important this is for them and their children i suppose one of the things with the water campaign is people saw a bill and didn't make the connection with the health of our rivers and the health of our seas um i think now they are i think they are joining the dots um and i think that 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 has to be positive um the minute you have confusion you have a lot of online bickering for want of a better word um yeah you, you were in period um but i believe that something really positive is going to come from this um you know it, it, it yeah i really do i think that the movement is possibly at a stage of development where 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 teenagers slamming the door out of the pram but um, I see a lot of activists who are really, really maturing, really becoming self-aware and empowerment. And, and I'm just hoping that that will continue. In fact, I'm going to be encouraging that to continue. So um, basically, good luck in Toulouse. And, uh, and once again, I wish I could join you and I'm sorry I can't.